Good afternoon, my fabulous chemistry students. Moles and stoic unit number five. This will be video number one. We are going to delve into gram formula mass and be able to calculate it. Probably the easiest task of the unit. So dig right in, right? So if we can't see atoms, how do we count them? This is going to be the first step in us being able to go from uh, massing as counting, okay? When I can actually, on the balance, tell you how many atoms are there because I've massed the thing. That's where we're going with this. So, notes, introduction. Um, before you get started, you need to understand about this unit. Um, it's going to be um, slightly different than before. We did atomic mass units first, right? AMUs. Okay, so then the mass of one oxygen atom would be um, 16. Well, it's actually 15.999. Or we could say, you know, 16 AMUs, okay? Well, why don't we use this number, or why don't we use grams instead? Well, the, the mass of one atom in grams is this ridiculously super, super small number, or 2.7 times 10 to the minus 23rd. It's so small, and I don't want to write these things all the time. So I can't use necessarily grams all the time when I'm trying to count atoms. But let's find the mass of the following atoms. So periodic table, Mg. We did this when we did periodic table on atoms, right? Its mass is 24.305, or we can just call that 24. We're going to be doing a lot of rounding. Um, calcium, Ca, 40.08, or we'll call that 40, okay? Um, one little thing I want to say quick right now while we can. Um, I'm going to assume in this unit starting off that everybody in the class knows how to round. I'm not going to take the time to teach everybody how to round. I'm going to assume that you do know. If you are having trouble or have questions with rounding and you don't feel like asking in front of everybody because you are maybe feel like you're going to be belittled or embarrassed, come see me. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to round. I'm going to assume, though, of course, that you do know. Um, here's aluminum, 26.98. That's going to round up. 98 is bigger than 50, so 98 is bigger than 50. It's going to go to 27. Okay. So diatomics, or monoatomic is 1, diatomic is 2. And we remembered how to do these, right, Hofbrinkel. Um, in this notes here, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. I've talked, I've never included etnium, and it's, as far as I know, not diatomic. Um, so we just learned how to do one atom on the previous page. Here I have two oxygen atoms, so I have to multiply that 16 by 2. So it's going to be 2 times 16 AMUs is going to give me 32. I'm going to go ahead and round that 15.9999 and just call it 16. Okay. So now calculating the gram formula mass. All right, so first of all, the formula mass is the mass in AMUs. And this is right out of your periodic table. You'll see that hydrogen is 1.00794. The gram formula mass is the mass of one mole of an atom. And we haven't really gotten into this what a mole is yet. That is coming. That is the basis of this unit. Okay. But the the thing is, is that a gram formula mass has gram in front of it, and it's the same number except for we can express it in grams. So it's the same number, just in grams. Okay, and we're going to find that we do gram formula mass much more than formula units, or the formula mass. But you do just need to know definition-wise the difference in case we get one of those silly, tricky questions, which I will personally try to avoid. Um, a mole by definition. Here it is. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is going to come up again and again and again. We need to know this number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Now, this is like a really big dozen, it's called. Well, and if you think about it, it really is just a counting number. Um, if I were to say to you a dozen, you would say 12. If I were to say to you a baker's dozen, you would say 13. And we have all these names for certain numbers that we use 
for all sorts of things. This one in chemistry is important. You've probably never heard of it. It's probably a little weird. Um, October 23rd is mole day. Just so you know, just a little tidbit right there. Maybe that's what you could do for this carrot for today. If you come and tell me October 23rd is mole day and I'll give you a stem buck, okay? A mole of carbon then is this many atoms, like a dozen roses is 12, a mole is this many atoms. And what's neat about it is that gram formula mass, right, in grams that we find on the periodic table is how much it will weigh. So every time I have this many atoms, I will get the mass that's on the periodic table. So we call that one mole, okay? So here we get some practice. What's the gram formula mass of K2CO3? So let's, let's write out our elements, K, C, O, and how many Ks do I have? Well, first of all, K is, has a mass of 39, and I have two of them. So it's 39 times two is 78. Carbon is 12. And I have one of them, so that's 12. Oxygen is 16, and I have three of them. So that's got to be 30, 48. If I add these all up, 8 and 2 is 10, gives me 18. 7, 8, 9, and 4 is 13 grams per mole. So, in other words, if I have this beast in a jar, and I want to get exactly 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of it or a mole of it, I need to, on the balance, put out 138 grams. It's just something that we're going to be doing a lot of so I can go from grams to moles. Um, here's another one to try. I want to see that you've done this one on your own. I will set you up. There is one copper. There's one sulfur. There is four oxygens. I see five times, oh no, five times two is ten hydrogens, and then five times ox, five times O is five more total oxygens. So now you should be able to plug in the masses using the periodic table, multiply by these numbers of the amount that there is, add them all up, and show me that you can calculate the gram formula mass. So now we had notes on this. Um, there's going to be a pogol. The first pogol is going to be on gram formula mass and how to calculate it. And it's going to be slightly different than the notes, of course, so that we can try to learn, however, you know, in multiple different ways so we can get this down. Now you can do practice packet page two and three, which is going to practice calculating gram formula mass. You got to do it a few times. By the end of page three, I'm sure you'll be sick of it. And then I also need you now to log on to Castle Learning. And there's an assignment called 01 gram formula mass, GFM. You need to do those five questions. There's just five questions. And if you look in the YouTube page, you even find a way to, um, some directions on how to log in. Of course, it's at castlelearning.com. Um, the login is RCSD dot, your student number. Don't forget the dot. The first time you log in, just hit enter, and you'll create your own password. Remember that password. If you lose it, you're going to have to email, you know, it's going to have to send you an email and the whole nine yards and you'll retrieve it. But there we are, Graham Formula Mass, guys. Here we go. See you in class tomorrow.